In example 3, we consider the ring of charge on the z-axis. These are our axes. And here we consider a ring of charge which is having charge Q. And this ring is having radius A. And the observation point is P which is at a distance R R equal to Z from the center of the ring is from this point of the ring. So we can write the potential for this that phi of Z is equal to integral and K which is the constant electrostatic constant dq over z square plus a square and this is the potential at point p so it is at point p when r for r i have written z squared and this potential after integration we get is k dq integrate to q divided by z squared plus a squared. We have already derived this relation and we will now solve this problem with the help of Legenda polynomials. As I know that for an arbitrary point phi of r theta phi is equal to is equal to r when I consider the azimuthal symmetry so the phi will only be a function of r and theta. As here I observe that the potential here at this point is only theta dependent and has no dependence on phi as it is azimuthally symmetric means on this point from all these points the potential is symmetric on the z-axis so my potential is only a function of r and theta and r and theta this i can write the solution of the Laplace equation that L runs from 0 to infinity AL R to the power L plus BL R to the power minus L plus 1 and PL of cos theta. For let's say consider that we only consider the region that r is less than a means the r is less than the radius of the ring and this situation we this is just like the situation when we are inside the sphere so our bl will have to go to zero because as I know that R is growing, then potential is means as I decrease R here, then when it is below, then R increasing will cause this one to blow, and that's why we consider this constant equal to zero, and our equation will become phi of R theta and L from 0 to infinity and AL R to the power L and PL of cos theta. Now I know one thing that I'm finding the potential on the z axis only whether it is above or below so it means that the zenith angle is 0 and cos 0 is 1 so it means this implies that and cos theta is 1 
So this implies that phi r theta summation L from 0 to infinity A L and R is equal to Z there. So I can write Z to the power L and this is P L and 1. And now I know that P L of 1 is 1. So it is independent of any parameter, so of any value of L like P0 of 1 is 1, P1 of 1 is coming out to be 1. So we are having this thing, our potential come out to be phi of R theta is equal to summation L from 0 to infinity A L Z to the power L. So the only determination that we will have to do, we will have to find A L. So if we find the value of A L, then we will reach the solution. Now let me rewrite my potential equation. And the potential equation is that phi of z is equal to k q z square plus a squared. Let's take z is common so I can write that uh, let me take a is common then it will be k q over a when I take a square common and it comes out of the square root, so only a will be there. And here I can write that 1 plus z over a whole squared. And now I can write that this thing is k q over a and 1 plus z over a squared minus 1 over 2. Now for any is I know that r is equal to z and z over a z over a is actually less than 1. So I can apply the binomial series here and this is 1 plus x to the power minus 1 over 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2x plus 1 over 2 factorial and then minus 1 over 2 minus 3 over 2 x squared and so on. And the generalized form of this is I have discussed earlier as well is from minus is from k from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power k 1 over k factorial 1 over 2 power k and 2k minus 1 double factorial and x to the power k and this thing I can further squeeze to a form that this is equal to summation over k from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power k 2k minus 1 double factorial divide by this thing k factorial and 2 to the power k we have already discussed that this is equal to 2k double factorial and variable x to the power k will come in. So I can write that phi of z is equal to k q over 
A. So I will write K Q over A and for 1 plus X to the power minus 1 over 2 I will write summation on K from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power k 2k minus 1 double factorial by 2k double factorial is equal to summation on L from 0 to infinity again here we are having x to the power k as well so let me write here x to the power k as well and this is equal to a l z to the power l now we will have to put for x the value z here that x is equal to z over a so this implies that k q over a summation on k and minus 1 k 2 k minus 1 double factorial over 2 k double factorial and for x I will write z over a so z I will write square over a squared now I know that x is to the power k so it will become 2k and it will become 2k so I can now write this thing in this form that kq over a here and 1 a 2k is here so I can write this a2k plus 1 so I can write summation on k from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power k 2k minus 1 double factorial by 2k double factorial and 1 over a to the power 2k and z to the power 2k so z to the power 2k here and now I can write that k q and 1 over a to the power 2k plus 1 because this is a 2k is here and 1 is here so 2k plus 1 summation on k from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power k 2k minus 1 double factorial divide by 2k double factorial and here this is z to the power 2k now if i compare this thing with this summation on l and a l z to the power l so here so by comparing it with this the very first thing that i observe is z to the power 2k and here z to the power is l so i observe the very first thing that that l that l is equal to k and the other thing that i observe here that a l is equal to all this so this all is a l and i can write that this implies 
that a l and l is equal to k equal to k q and two one over a two k plus one summation on k minus one k two k minus one double factorial by two k double factorial. So we got the value of a two k, and now this one tells us that k starts from zero. So when k is zero, this is a naught. When k is one, this is a two. When k is three, this is a six, and so on. So when k is two, then we will have a four here, then a six here, and so on. So it means that even coefficients are non-zero coefficients, and the reason behind this one is that they. At this point z equal to r, we are having at observation point we are having the potential value. That value of potential is the same at this distance. So we are having symmetry on the z axis, and that's why our coefficients are even and they are non-zero. So finally, I can write that phi of r theta is equal to k and this is actually this k this k is a constant this k is a constant while this k is a number here this is the electrostatic constant k and summation on k number and let me write this k and that k differently because this k is our electrostatic constant so we will have to differentiate that this is not the number k here and k runs from 0 to infinity q over a and minus 1 to the power k if I write it in this form 2k minus 1 double factorial by 2k double factorial and r over a and this has the power 2k while p l of cos theta so l is 2k and cos of theta so this is our generalized solution for r less than a while when we will have r greater than a then our this component will go to zero this coefficient go to zero this will become non-zero and we will get the solution so, and this is finally our generalized solution which is having all the results involved in this note that only on the z-axis this cos theta will be equal to 1 while away from the z-axis here and here we are having then those polynomials, the Legendre polynomials we will have to calculate.